holiday season can be difficult for so many reasons. And when you're going through some emotional turmoil, as most of us do when we're dealing with narcissists, it can be especially tough at this time. I know some of you are dealing with a fresh discard and some of you are dealing with a discard that happened a while ago and still dealing with the emotional upheaval that's so natural after these relationships. So I wanted to film this quick video today for those of you who might be struggling a little bit in the holidays or maybe a lot. And I wanna let you know that I've been there. So in my spiritual awakening story, if you've seen that video, I alluded to a brutal discard that kind of sent me reeling. So I'll give you a little bit more insight in this video just to let you know that you're not alone. I've been there. I've been in the situation where you have to kind of pretend like you're okay and you're not okay because it's the holidays and everyone around you is either happy or also pretending that they're happy. So for me, it was about two weeks before Christmas and I was visiting family. I had discarded first and we know that's not something that you're supposed to do when you're dealing with a narcissist, but of course I didn't know I was dealing with a narcissist. I just felt the discard coming, so I, I tried to cut it off at the pass. And I said, hey, I don't want to be embarrassed in front of my family, so I'm ending this here. Long story short. He lured me back in over the phone because I was at a distance. And to be honest, I was hesitant because I felt like I was really ready to let go. We had been through it so many times before to the point where it was getting embarrassing already. And I'm talking about the, the cycle, the love bombing, devaluing, discarding, hoovering, rinse and repeat. Not all narcissists do that, but for those of you who have been through these cycles, you understand that after a while it gets embarrassing. After a while, people are looking at you like, well, I don't want to hear your problems anymore because you keep taking this person back. So against my better judgment, I, I listened. I listened to the love bombing and I let it in. And finally, when I was ready to just let go and say, okay, yes, let's do this. I'm all in. Let's give it another shot. One last try. This person, asked my mother for my ring size on a Tuesday and left me for another woman on a Friday of that week. Now we live together, so this is what I was gonna be coming home to. And I already had a plane ticket that brought me home two weeks after this date, right after Christmas. So these are the highlights of the story. This is, you can kind of guess what I was going through. You know, trying to appear happy, trying to appear like my world wasn't falling down around me when I had two weeks to find another place to live. So there I was trying to pretend like everything was cool. My world wasn't falling down around me at all. No, 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 everything's good, everything's good. That's kind of my personality, but, but also around the holidays, you feel pressure to do that. You feel pressure to make everybody else happy, regardless of how you're feeling or what you're going through. But the reason why I wanted to put this video out there for you and put that part of my story out there for you is to just let you know that you're not alone. This is something I went through years ago, and unfortunately, if you've seen my spiritual awakening story, you know that I didn't do the right thing. I didn't focus on myself. I, I tried very much to pretend, even after I got, even after the holidays, even after I got back and you know got settled in my new place, I tried very much to pretend that everything was fine. Again, the world wasn't falling down around me. Everything was cool. But it wasn't. I wasn't okay. These things are difficult and we need to acknowledge that they're difficult. I'm very much one to vote for positivity. Think positive thoughts. Reach for the best feeling thought in the moment. Very, very, very much my philosophy. But at the same time, we do have to acknowledge the hurt feelings and the pain and the grief that comes naturally when a relationship ends. So if I'm being completely honest, most of the grief I felt and the anger, a lot of, a lot of what I was feeling, I felt angry towards that person for sure. But a lot of it I directed towards myself. Even as I took that call and I knew something was up, I knew, I knew this person was about to give me some news. All I could think was not again, not again. No, I can't go through this again. I can't be this stupid. I can't. I cannot handle being this stupid. 
like that that was the most painful part of it for me but regardless of what your pain is regardless of what you're feeling whether you're feeling anger towards the other person or whether you're in that phase where you're just dumping on yourself i want you to know it gets better and whatever it is you're feeling is okay and we will get through it just like we got through everything else now if you want to look towards the future i can tell you things get so much better. Even if you still have a narcissist in your life wreaking havoc, trying to cause drama, narcissists are nothing if not predictable. They're all different in the way they abuse, but when you know a narcissist and you know what they're capable of, you basically know what their next move is. You know their next move. Ultimately, I thought it was important today that I put this out there because I am someone who has been through what some of you are going through right now and i'm in a good place now and you will be too it does get better i promise you as they say diamonds have to endure pressure to shine and i know that sounds cheesy but there's some truth to it think about any difficult situation in your life and think about how it changed you you can probably come up with some positive things that have come out of it if it's been long enough and if you've had enough time to reflect this is no different. So for those of you who are struggling to get through this holiday, I really want you to know you are not alone. Not only have I been there, but there are so many people out there right now who are going through this. There are so many people who are in your exact shoes. And if you're one of those people, feel free to leave a comment below because I know there are others out there who are just waiting to hear from somebody who's going through what they're going through. And these are great connections to make. And if like me, you've been through it years ago and you're in a good place now, I would love it if you would comment also, just as another sign of support, that it really, really does get better. I promise it really gets better. So for all of you struggling out there, I want you to know that it's okay to feel that way. And there's a flip side to this that I wanna point out now. So not only are we coming up on a new year, but we're coming up on a new decade. So it's a perfect, perfect time to set everything that happened in the past decade aside. So next week, I'm going to bring you a video. I'm actually kind of excited about it to, to talk you through that a little bit more and to give you some tips for the new year, for the new decade to acknowledge and release. So I wish you a happy holiday and I'll see you next time.